Hey guys! So today we're doing something that I have been meaning to do for quite a while now. Maybe you have watched one of my latest videos where I tried to dye the underneath of my hair blue and it failed. So I dyed it back to black and the thing is like it looks black like obviously but you can't really see it underneath and on camera but right here my hair is so green. Yeah, you can't really see it on camera, I'm sorry. It's so green and it just looks nasty and it's also really green here and I kind of, kind of missed some spots. <laughs> so basically I just want to dye it black again just so it can be like completely black and also I want to try doing curtain bangs because for like basically my whole life <laughs> I feel like I've been wearing a side part and Literally a few days ago, I decided to just do the middle part and I'm really feeling it. Like, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. The fun thing is that my hair on this side is always more voluminous than this side because, well, I parted it over this way so it's going to take a bit of a while for my hair to get accustomed to this. And I feel like curtain bangs only work with the middle part, at least I've never seen anyone rock one with a side part. So this is the perfect time for me to try it out. Also it's like kind of really not looking that cute. It's not that broken anymore because I cut off a bit, but still it needs a cut. So I'm going to dye it, um, I'm not going to film everything about it because that's really boring. So <laughs> let's just go dye my hair and then afterwards I'm going to show you how I cut it and hopefully I won't regret it. So I'm excited for that. So we're in the bathroom now. I'm using the Perfect Mousse by Schwarzkopf. It's this pump thing. So you just pour the color into the in the applicator thing. I don't know. And then you just pump it. So like this. Come on. Yeah. Currently it's not that black yet, but it's going to turn black in a second. I've already used this once and then you just apply it to your hair so I'm not doing this really well right now because I'm doing it on camera but basically this is how it works and then you just do that with all your face and it's really easy to do it yourself because it's basically just like shampoo so I'm just going to do that real quick with all of my hair and then I'll show you when it's back again like, like I said this is really not that interesting so I'm not going to film everything about it but yeah see you again in a second okay so as you can see on my shirt I'm done with the dyeing now and so I'm just going to let this sit for a good 30 minutes and I basically just concentrated on the length because that's where all of the green was in and also for some parts here I hope I covered everything because otherwise I'm going to just fucking cut it off because it's fucking and I just looks so fucking bad so I'm just going to let that sit I'm going to make something to eat because I'm really hungry and then after that I'm just going to show you what it looked like when it's all washed out and everything and then I'm just going to go into the curtain bang is the part I think we are all here for, aren't we? <laughs> so I'm done with my hair now. It's finally all black again. It just feels so nice looking at it and it's not green. <laughs> I actually really like green hair but not when it definitely looks like it's the result of a mistake. I'm really happy with that now and also it's really soft because of the hair conditioning product now and I did not do anything to my hair except for wash it and then I just let it air dry so I didn't put any product in it or anything it's just my natural hair and now we are going to do the fun part which is the curtain bangs so for the video reference I'm using the this girl's video that popped up on my recommended page which actually gave me the idea to do this I don't know exactly how her name is pronounced if she's Latina because it kind of sounds like a Latina name it's probably Arriba Carvais but I don't know how it's pronounced otherwise so I'm really sorry but I'm going to link her video in the description box so in the description box so you can watch it if you want to because I think it's actually a really helpful tutorial she said to well first of all I have to do a proper middle parting I think it's actually pretty good like this <laughs> it looks so crazy right now. So we're going in like here maybe, right now. And then we go in up to the part where it meets the arch of your brow. Like this kind of. Maybe we could do a bit more. Oh 
Okay, so this is how it is on one side. I think that actually looks pretty decent. It's a pretty straight line. It's the same on the other side. Yeah, I think that it looks pretty symmetric to me. Oh no, wait. Okay, so it looks like this right now. Um, I think it looks pretty straight, like and very symmetrical. So we're going to just pin the rest of the hair back. Now that the rest of my hair is pinned back, we need to wet this part. My hair is naturally curly, so it's not going to be as straight even if I wet it, which is a bit annoying. For curls and bangs, at least in the video I watched, she said um, to cut it until like the length of your chin. So we will have to cut off quite a bit. I do, however, not want to cut off all the way because, first of all, you can always make it shorter, you can't make it longer. So for fuck it off, it's either not going to be that bad or I can still go ahead and cut off more. But also because, like I said, my hair is pretty curly, so if I do actually decide to wear it really curly, then it's going to be really short and I don't want it to be too short. We are just going to cut a bit longer than my chin. Okay, so my chin will go around here. I'm going to cut until like here, so it's like two fingers longer than my chin is. And we're just going to cut it. <laughs> So I'm trying not to pull it too much because it just makes it longer than it actually is. So okay, we're cutting it off right here. Oh my god, I cut it off. <laughs> okay, so this is the hair I just cut off. I'm going to throw it away. Oh my god, it's so short. I'm glad I didn't do it any shorter, to be honest, because this is already really short. And it is actually like my chin, like my chin, my chin length now. And now we're just going to go back into the middle part with it. Just like around here. Yeah, it's really short. It already is a bit like angled, so I want it to be a bit more angled. To, I want to like feather it out a bit so I just cut into it from up so uh, from downwards like. it's so weird <laughs> <laughs> to have this, but I think it looks kind of cute, at least like this. It's too short though. I should have cut off way less. I thought I would already, I would have to cut off more because it would turn out to be too short. Well, apparently not, that's not the case, but I think it looks kind of cute. Then we will have to just go in and take out the next hair strand. I think the one that's like closest to it, like here. This one and just angle this a bit as well, not too much um, just to make sure that it's like framing the face a bit more so just taking this, just cutting in a bit like, So basically this is what it looks like right now. Um, I'm going to style it a bit. I think I want it to be like a little more loose curls, uh, loose waves. And yeah, so this is the curtain bangs themselves right here. So like I said, I wish it were a bit longer to be honest, um, but it still looks cute like this. I like it. 
And yeah, like I said, I'm going to start it now and then I'll be back with my makeup and my start hair and everything and you can see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so we're back now and I'm done with my hair. Um, basically, I just curled it and then I combed it out. And what I did for the... Okay. <laughs> what I did for the bangs, uh, I just took my straightener and just like straightened it first so that the curliness would go out and then I just like kind of twisted it so like really easy and <laughs> so these are the bangs yeah and uh, now that they are straightened I actually don't think they are that long anymore and also now that the rest of my hair is completely styled uh, I think it looks really cute actually when I have my hair open you can't even tell that much that they are there um just like can just put them to the side and I think that looks really cute it just kind of frames the face like you know like this and like funny thing is that like they're supposed to frame your face here but I think they do a better job by here you know <laughs> um so yeah and I can also try uh, I don't have my hair tie with me wait a second it's not like the cutest bun but when I put it in a bun it's and I can put it in a bun just looks like this uh, I think that's really cute because my hair used to be always like really long so when I wanted to put a strand out it just looked a bit weird because it went to like here so I think this is a really cute kind of way to frame your face when it's up also and um, but I think actually yeah it's definitely long enough to also be put in the bun itself so yeah you can either decide if you want it to be like this and I'm also going to try out another date on right now because my hair needs a break <laughs> um, trying to look what it looks like straightened I think it would actually look really cool as well but I wanted to try it out with curls also because uh, this is like what my hair usually looks like more than what it looks like straightened like this is also obviously not my natural hair structure oh that's a pretty bad this just looks closer to what my hair usually looks like all the time this was my curtain banks journey uh, so I think you could just see that this was really easy to do obviously I guess it depends on what kind of hair you have and like how it fits in with the rest of your hair for me basically you can't really see it like it's just they are there but they are not that visible so I couldn't really fuck up too much only if I like went really short but that would have been like actual bangs so yeah just make sure you cut a bit under your kin I would say if, if it's your first time cutting your own hair um, just because you can always go back you know if I would have actually cut it to my chin I think that would be too short now so yeah I'm really happy with how this turned out if you like this video please subscribe and leave it a like um, sometimes I do hair videos but I also do videos about makeup, fashion books cooking videos whatever you want to just let me know or i just do whatever i want to post so uh, yeah if you like this please subscribe and i hope i see you again in another video bye, -bye.